Brian Benson from PowerPull here. Today I would like to discuss the PowerPull Charge and how it specifically works with lithium batteries. In this video, I want to go over all the different lithium battery configurations and help you understand and choose what is the best lithium battery setup to get the most out of your PowerPull Charge. Over the past year, we've learned a lot about the Charge and how it works with lithium batteries, so I'll be happy to go over single 24 or 36 or individual 12s and let you know what is the best option to get the most out of the charge. Keep in mind the PowerPull Charge is the most advanced marine power station on the market. It does the work of four devices on your boat. It's your traditional battery charger that you plug in when you're at the house. It's also your on the run charger so anytime you're running the outboard, the PowerPull Charge is able to use all the extra power and recharge your trolling motor and your cranking battery. Charge also has a fishing mode when throughout the day as you're fishing, Charge moves the power to your trolling motor or to your cranking battery. So when you need power, Charge moves it and gets you a longer day out on the water. And finally, Charge has an emergency start system built in it. So if you push that cranking battery to the limit with a lot of screens, a lot of live wells, some of these fancy transducers, you can hit emergency power transfer and Charge will move the power from your trolling motor to your engine battery so you can get the outboard started and get back to the dock. With all the huge advantages you get from the PowerPole Charge, we wanted to let everybody know when choosing lithium, which is the best way to go, single 2436 or individual 12 volt batteries for your trolling motor power. Over the past year, we've listened to our customers and we have come to realize a single 24 or a single 36 will get you the best experience on the water with our power pole charge. A single 24 or 36 volt lithium battery offers the fastest charging time, the lightest weight possible in the boat. A single lithium does not require individual battery balancing, so it does not require individual battery maintenance. A single lithium reduces the amount of BMS boards and other electrical components in the boat, so one battery means one BMS where two or three batteries means that there's one, two, or three batteries that all need to get along and all balance together. A single lifting of battery also reduces the amount of interconnected wires and crimps in the boat, so less connections mean less of a chance for something to fail. This is the go-to configuration and setup that the top tournament anglers are running who are really heavy on the trolling motor with limited time between events or limited time to plug into the wall before they have to get back out on the water. The other configuration or setup you can choose when going with lithium batteries are two 12 volt batteries wired in series to get 24 volts or three 12 volt batteries wired in series to get 36 volts. When working with the PowerPole charge, individual 12 volt batteries definitely work, but they require longer charging times to get the three batteries balanced and ready to go fishing the next day. So three batteries definitely take longer to charge than a single 36. If you have two or three batteries wired in series, it requires longer balancing, where a single 36 doesn't require balancing. If you get into a situation where you have severely out of balance batteries, the charge could take five to eight days to get those batteries back in check to where they're 100% charged. So anglers that are out on the water a lot and do have limited time between charging, if you get a battery that is out of balance, you could supplement that charge by using an individual 12 volt battery charger to get that out of balance battery up, plug the power pole charge in, and then we will charge all three batteries like normal. This configuration is good for the angler who has plenty of time between fish and trips to get a really good balanced charge. The next thing we need to talk about is using a lithium battery for your cranking on your engine side. The power pole charge again will charge and maintain a lithium battery on the cranking side, but it is not the best option to get all the features out of the power pole charge. The first and biggest concern that we have when choosing a lithium battery on the engine side is what happens when a lithium battery goes to sleep. There is nothing wrong with the battery or the power pole charge. The battery simply has a BMS board in it that is constantly monitoring the battery, and if something is outside that battery's parameters, the battery turns off or goes to sleep. 
It's not a big deal, but we just want you to know that when a lithium battery shuts off on the engine side, the powerful charge will not recognize it. And if the powerful charge cannot recognize that lithium battery, we cannot perform the emergency power transfer, which is one of the big features of why you purchase the powerful charge. So a lithium battery on the cranking side, you will lose that emergency start feature should the battery shut off. Lastly, for optimized performance, be sure to download the PowerPole app and set up your battery chemistry, configuration, and amp hours before use. The PowerPole charge can run different battery chemistries on the engine side versus the trolling motor side. Just tell the app what type of battery and size you're running on the engine and what type of battery and size you're running on the trolling motor, and the PowerPole charge will bulk charge, balance, optimize, and float each battery based on the chemistry and size. There is no other charger on the market that can do that. So in summary, to get the most out of the PowerPole charge, I would highly recommend choosing a single 24 or 36 volt lithium battery paired with the largest AGM battery or two when putting a new boat together or reconfiguring the batteries in your current boat. Over the past year, we have definitely received a lot of customer feedback that the PowerPole charge works great with smaller amp hour 24 and 36 volt batteries. A single 50 amp hour lithium battery provides a lot of power when paired with the PowerPole charge. The smaller amp hour also charges very quickly when it's plugged into the wall and when it's charging on the run with the outboard. You don't need as large of an amp hour battery when using the PowerPole charge. Taking that step and choosing the right lithium battery paired with our power pole charge will give you the best experience on the water. Thank you for watching and tight lines.